Hi, YouTubers. My name's Ian, and I'm going to be reading aloud a letter written by Great Broad that was published in a local paper in response to some derogatory comments about the 9-11 truthers movement in their editorial section. The headline is, Editorial Wrong About 9-11 Truth Movement. To the editor, I read in your October 24th opinion page that the Peoria Journal Star dislikes generalizations and somehow lumps the 9-11 truth movement in with parents like Heen's even though the 9-11 truth movement has nothing to do with celebrity or parenting. They ask, what possesses some people, and asks if the attention is worth it. For many years, I have been a member of the 9-11 truth movement. I wish to respond to the Peoria Journal Star's attack on persons like myself. In the scientific revolution, thinkers such as the Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus, French philosopher René Descartes, and the British mathematician Isaac Newton overturned the authority of the Middle Ages, a watershed moment in history, and attacked the stranglehold of medieval thought and brought new truth to light. In April 2009, history has repeated itself. And the world's view once again is challenged. Niels H. Herrett of the Department of Chemistry at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark and eight others studied 9-11 dust collected from the World Trade Center and published their findings. Active thermitic material discovered in dust from the 9-11 World Trade Center catastrophe. This new scientific article, in my opinion, concludes that impacts from the two hijacked aircraft did not cause the collapse in 2001. The official U.S. 9-11 report indicates that one man on kidney dialysis, hiding in a cave 7,000 miles away, concerted the efforts of 19 hijackers who took flying lessons without learning to land and was hacked simultaneously. We are to believe this one sickly individual single-handedly brought the most powerful nation the world has ever seen to its knees and has outsmarted us at every turn ever since that day? We are to believe this? The FBI website has never listed bin Laden for the 2001 incident, due to lack of evidence. I would conclude that it is much easier to bury one's head in the sand, like the editor of the Peoria Journal Star does, than admit the whole country was bamboozled by neocons. But if I, I tell you, if we fail to face the music of the situation, American freedom will become just another word for nothing left to lose. Thanks for watching.